next time to gain some knowledge or learn more here than you would in college. We're the smartest radio station. We are the leaders in education. Is it truth? Is it lies? Kevin's the host. He's got the eyes. Fact or fiction? I'm going to learn a little something here today as we have election day going on. What do you think about this, Virginia? Fact or fiction? There were only 13 states that participated in the very first presidential election. Fact or fiction? I know there were 13 original colonies because okay. Virginia was one of them. Ah, but look what? at you, right? Your namesake. namesake. Mm-hmm. Uh, fact. You are going to go fact, and your first answer is wrong. Damn it. So I was, what I was thinking about, too, the 13 colonies. Is that is that completely different? Um, well, it, it is and it isn't. Uh, apparently, for whatever reason, in the very first U.S. presidential election of 1788, only 10 states participated I'm in sh- that election. I'm sure that caused a stir. Yeah, for whatever reason. Yeah, because they did have the uh, 13 colonies going on there, so three did not participate. George Washington won unanimously, which I believe is the first time that has ever happened. There was no social media, but they'd still write hate comments. It would just take a, a year to get to you. Yeah, there was. they still were very contentious back then. All right, Jaber, what do you think? Uh, election factor fiction. The tradition of voting on the first Tuesday after the first Monday in November dates back to the 19th century when they chose the day to avoid both the Sabbath and to accommodate market days in rural farming communities. That is fact. That is. May you remember that? We I talked do. about that uh, about a week ago on the show. Nice retention, Bird. Okay, Virginia, what do you think? Fact or fiction here? The donkey is the symbol of the Democratic Party because one of their early candidates was called a jackass. What do you think? Is that fact or fiction? Uh, That's how they got to that. Maybe, yeah, maybe they took lemons and made lemonade. I'm going to say fact. You're going to say fact? Yes. That's crazy. (laughs) And that jackass was Andrew Jackson, the namesake for Jacksonville. Uh, Did did he murder a man in cold blood? Probably. (laughs) Probably. What did did he do? Yes, right. (laughs) I need to hear both sides. Yeah, so they would call Andrew Jackson a jackass, and in 1828, he's like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and... Make this a positive, and that became the Democratic Party's official animal mascot. I thought Andrew Jackson either shot a guy or he was in a duel or something. They, they did a lot of dueling. I think he, I think he uh, yeah. dueled somebody. Okay. okay. All right, and what about this, Jaybird? Fact or fiction here? The elephant is the symbol of the Republican Party because they swore to never forget the South's secession before the Civil War. It's fiction. You're correct. Gosh, he was so confident, too. He was so understatedly mm-hmm. confident. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. It actually came from a political cartoon from the 1870s showing a Democratic donkey disguised as a lion terrorizing zoo animals, including an elephant labeled Republican. And that's where that came from. Oh, yeah, the two mascots. Okay, Virginia, let's see if uh, you can get this one correct here. Fact or fiction. Our word for ballot is not American at all. It actually comes from Italy. Is that fact or fiction? Ballot. (laughs) <laughs> ballot. It's a ballot. Yeah, yeah. Does, does it feel Forget right? about it. Forget, Forget it. about it. <laughs> Forget about that's, it. That's good. <laughs> that's good comedy right there. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. Fact. Gonna say fact. You All are in. correct. Forget yes. about it. Forget about it. It is from the Italian word balota, meaning uh-huh. small ball. And the Freemasons used to choose new members by using a ballot box. And the members would drop a colored ball in the box. A white ball meant yes. A black ball meant no. And that's oh. where we get the term somebody being blackballed. Oh. Ah. Uh-huh. And we're learning so much we're going to forget in five <laughs> I know, minutes. Right? It's all right. It's good for a moment. <laughs> Look, we're just we're in the now. We're having a great time. All right, Bert, what do you think, fact or fiction? Astronauts on the International Space Station are going to be able to vote in the presidential election today. Is that fact or fiction? That's a fact. That is a fact, yeah. Apparently they got a special high-tech encryption system 
and the ballots are only accessible by the astronauts and the clerk to protect each voter's integrity. How about that? Hmm. So they are voting today. I, I, I have a stupid question. Now, have we always had early voting, or is this a newer thing? It's more prevalent now. I don't know that it's always been around. Okay. But uh, it's been around for quite some time. All right, what about this? Your final one, Virginia. Election factor fiction. The U.S. Constitution only mentions the word democracy once. Uh, is that fact or fiction? That's totally fiction. That thing is full with democracy, 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 bitches. Okay, democracy all over the place. Yeah. You're right, but you're wrong. Huh. It's never mentioned. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. Democracy. <laughs> It's never mentioned. <laughs> no, all over the place. That is the stupidest right answer I've ever seen. It Thank is. you. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, Jaber, what do you think about this? In 1776, the founding fathers were one vote away from making German the official language of the United States. That's a fact. That is mm. fiction. No, it's a popular urban legend. The vote actually happened in 1795, and it would have only caused federal laws to be printed in German as well as in English. I mean, aren't you kind of suspect if anything ends in only with one vote left? You go, did it it really really end it with, oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. What happened? Oh, my chair broke, I guess. Oh, (laughs) no. (laughs) What, What is happening? You got a bad back, and so does your chair. I feel like it's only my chairs that bust. <laughs> yeah, your oh. chairs bust a lot. How does that happen? I don't know, Kevin. Isn't that crazy, Virginia? I got that special button yeah. <laughs> over here. I just hit it and it flips his chair back. I thought that was a joke, but I'm starting to think it's not. <laughs> it does happen a lot. It's a crazy thing. Jeez, in the middle of talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we do it. It's the KBJ Show.